So a couple of days ago, and as in a couple of days ago, I mean a couple of months ago, eight months more specifically, I started a series on my channel where I turned different letters into houses in Bloxburg. And um, after the third episode, it kind of died. She died. I gave up on it. You know what, today I'm going to be turning the letter G into a house. And the reason I'm doing this is because one of you guys actually commented on my video. This person specifically, Georgia Rivers 3919. They said, hi Alaska, it's my birthday tomorrow. Can you please wish me a happy birthday? I just go, no. <laughs> And the reason I'm saying no is because not only am I going to wish Georgia a happy birthday, I'm also going to turn the letter G into a house. So let's get started. And we're going to name this plot Happy Birth, Georgia. Okay, let's go. So the thing is, right, we can do a, uh, a lowercase g like this or an uppercase g. And we're obviously doing an uppercase g. So I guess we can start off like the bottom bit of the g. I don't know whether to make this four blocks or three. We're going to start off with four. Oh my gosh, guys, this is like really intense. Why do I like don't, I don't know how to build a g. I'm kidding. I know what I'm doing, okay? I know what I'm doing. I kind of just got to like this and then, mate, this is stressful. No one tells you how stressful it is to like turn a shape into a house. I feel like I should definitely measure this out properly like any normal YouTuber would, but it's me. Okay, is that a G? What is that? <laughs> that looks so bad. Okay, stop. No, we can't make it look this bad, all right? We have to make it look somewhat presentable. I mean, I am building this after one of you guys, so I don't want it to look too bad. A few moments later. What about now? Okay. You know what? It looks like a G. Okay, so that is our house. Thank you. Okay, doke. So now we just need the walls. I think the easiest thing for me to do, especially with challenges like this is map out the floor plan as I'm adding walls, if that kind of makes sense. So I'm thinking like this maybe can be like a really long hallway. This can be my bedroom, closet, maybe my lounge room can go here. G is such an awkward shape to do. I remember when I started this trend like a couple months ago before everyone was begging me to do G and I'm like, I'm not doing G because I don't know what to do. But here we are struggling. Oh wait, where's the bathroom? I guess the bathroom. We can have like a very long bathroom like this, right? And maybe if we cut this up. Oh, what if this is like a gym or an office? That would be kind of cool. Oh my gosh. And in the middle of the G, right? This section here is going to be like a massive garden that you can see all throughout the G. Okay. I have visions, darling. I have visions. I just realized what theme are we going to do for this house? Okay. Hey, Siri. Hello. <laughs> Hello. Um, What theme should I do for my house in Bloxburg? Just pick a random theme. I'll do it. Oh my God. Oh, my Siri just went off. He just ignored me. Are you joking? Why'd you ignore me? Nope. What do you mean, nope? Pick a house theme. I don't have an answer for that. Is there something else I can help with? No. Oh my god, you're so stupid, Siri. Go away. I'm just trying to do my job. Okay, don't have an attitude of me, mister. Oh my gosh, I'm full beeping with my Siri over here. He didn't even answer my question. All right, random house theme. What is it? Aesthetic. I don't even know what that means. Aesthetic house. Oh, I guess something like that would be cute. All right, we'll do that, I guess. Now, for the roof, I don't really care what this roof looks like because it's not like we're going to be staring at it the entire time. Okay, there is our roof. Oh, I'm kind of excited to see how this is going to turn out. I'm not going to lie. Do not really care what the outside looks like. I'm just going to do like white planks. And yeah, that's it because like I said, don't really Really care. Don't care. Don't care. Still don't care. Now, for the entryway, right? Because obviously we need like an entrance to this house. You know where I think I want to put it? Here. So we have to walk in here, right? Go to the right and then this can be our entryway. I kind of like that idea. So we can use some of these fancy sliding doors right here. And then I guess we also obviously need a footpath. Let's say this is going to be the bathroom, right? If we have a window out here and we also have a window in the bedroom, the bedroom and the bathroom are going to look inside of each other. And to solve this problem, we need trees. Oh, also, you can know how I said to you guys oh we're doing a aesthetic themed house i changed my mind we're doing a uh, japanese style zen home okay i don't know why i just like randomly decided to change the theme i was adding pink trees on the outside for like you know aesthetic purposes and i was like wait it would look so much better if this house was a uh, japanese zen theme so yeah that's what we're doing okay so the garden inside of the g is done it's pretty simple but it's just to give some of the room some privacy so i guess we can start with like the top of the g <laughs> Oh, my God. 
So maybe we can start off with this room and then we can kind of work our way around till we got the bedroom. So starting with this room here, I don't know what I want this to be yet. You know what, originally I was gonna say this for the bedroom, but the more I look at it, the more I think this would be a better suitable option for the bedroom. So that is what we are doing. Now, see how all of the walls are on an angle? If I do a floor, right, and I wanna do planks, that's gonna be so hard. So sorry, ladies and gents, I'm gonna be lazy and instead use carpet. I usually film so much earlier but um this morning I do not know why but I literally kept hitting snooze like I kept hitting snooze and I'm like okay next time my alarm goes off I'm gonna get out out of bed spoiler alert I did not but I mean in my defense I did go to bed at like two o'clock in the morning so yeah that's probably why so for this bed I feel like most zen bedrooms are kind of on the floor so hear me out not on the floor but they're kind of close to the floor so I think we might use like two sleeping bags in the middle of the bed like this I always get scared when I try something new in Bloxburg because I'm just picturing you guys stare at like whatever device you're watching me on like judging me Oh, I love laying my blankets in Bloxburg. I think that is genuinely my favorite thing to do. Just layering my blankets. <sighs> the only thing that sucks though is like right now in Australia, it's currently um, summer. So it's very hot and I just have a sheet on my bed. So I can't have like one of those cute aesthetic fluffy beds because I will sweat to death and like die from sweatness. That sounded so gross, but you guys get my point. Oh, look at that bed. Can we just talk about how comfortable that looks? Oh my days. That looks amazing. For the bedside table, we're gonna use a, a plant and this random thing. You know what, considering this house is in the literal shape of a G, I haven't struggled yet. I'm saying yet, because I haven't really worked in the other rooms yet, but I mean, <laughs> So far, so good. Oh my God, to make the windows look even more cute, we can make them a uh, pink tint like that. See, why do people forget to tint their windows in Bloxburg? One of the challenges I find doing these uh, letter challenges in Bloxburg is trying to fit the furniture on walls like this. Like, what am I meant to do here, okay? I've got the bed, so bed, tick. What else do we need in a bedroom? I feel like we need a desk, obviously. I reckon the desk could potentially look really good. You know what, maybe up against this window, honestly. Hmm, and maybe up against this wall a bookshelf oh yes genius okay you know what we're gonna have on my desk a candle and some pizza in case we get you know the twin munchies okay which means lastly we just have to fill in this bookcase okay and i don't know about you guys but i think that is the bedroom nearly come together i'm trying to do something different with the closet because i feel like my closets always end up looking the same saying that looks a little bit different right okay you know what? i think that looks kind of unique um you know what lie to me be like wow alaska that looks beautiful okay just lie. I think we're gonna make this like a hallway or the entryway because I feel like it's way too short to make as the um, living room and to make it look like it's actually split up we can use some of these um, plain high arches so then we kind of know oh hey that is where the room ends and lots of windows because there is really not much natural light coming into this house whatsoever Ugh, this house is so awkward the more I look at this house the more my brain hurts from trying to figure out okay how I mean to make this look good and you know what as for the floor I don't care the the entire floor is going to be made out of concrete for all I care. See, I wasn't kidding. Concrete flooring. Now, entryway. It's long, obnoxious hallways like this that just throw me off and just make me want to bulldoze this plot. What I do to kind of fix this is uh, kind of add little random walls throughout the house. So then it's uh, kind of split up. And maybe instead of this ugly wallpaper, we can use custom wallpaper, such as this. I feel like in a Japanese style home, we're going to need somewhere to place all of the shoes. So we might have a shoe cap cabinet up against this wall. <gasps> With a little tiny blossom tree. Oh my gosh, see what I mean? Look how cute that is. It's literally just like a tree in a cabinet. I'm like, Mwah. beautiful. Or as I like to say, moto bene. I don't even know what moto bene means. I could be swearing at you in a different language and I would have no clue. I'm pretty sure it means well done in Italian. Don't take my word on that, but I think that's what it means. It's funny, for someone who's Portuguese and Dutch, I don't know many languages. I don't even know how to speak Portuguese or Dutch. I barely know how to speak English sometimes. So <laughs> Let me tell you, if you guys speak another language, that is impressive. Speaking of impressive, this entryway is complete, which means we now need to move on to the second section down here. And this section along here is going to be the kitchen. Okay, what's like a Japanese 
zen style kitchen. I kind of just want to do modern cabinets. Oh gosh, this hurts. I need to put the fridge cabinet on this angle, right? But then it kind of intertwines with this cabinet. Oh, this is hurting my eyes. Oh, why am I doing this to myself? Why must I make myself suffer like this? You know what? At least the stove fits here. It would have been so much easier if I just picked a flat surface along one of these walls and then made this the kitchen. We have a massive flat wall here. I could have made this the kitchen, but no. I just love being difficult and choosing the sharpest corner to make the kitchen. Wait, this cabinet, it's not connecting to the wall, right? Oh, it's kind of, I don't know. I think that's the best we're gonna get, guys. <laughs> don't judge. Also, before anyone comments, I don't wanna talk about the fact that I'm using a linen kitchen right now. I think linen looks cute in this area, all right? Okay, I don't really know what I'm doing with this kitchen. It's kind of difficult when you're working with a corner as your kitchen, but um, I think this is a nice setup for the kitchen. The island bench is gonna be a little bit awkward because again, it's on a corner. So I don't really know what to do here. You know what, we're gonna use a basic shape. I don't want the island bench to be very big. The reason being is because I wanna have bean bags on the back of the island bench. Cause I'm not kidding, whenever I typed up like Japanese inspired kitchen, they always had a island bench with three little stools like this. All right, which means I think that's the kitchen done. Don't ask why there's a little window on the top of my oven. I thought that would help, it didn't. So now we can have this section here, which is going to be the dining room. Oh, look how ominous that hallway looks. That looks like something out of a horror movie. I feel like Clown's gonna pop out. Anyway, island bench. No, dining table. I kind of have a little bit of an idea that I wanna do. It does require basic shapes though. So two basic shapes like this, one in the middle, place the one on the middle on the top. Again, another basic shape in the middle. Make this one thinner than the others and kind of place it in between these two. And once we paint the table, we come up with something like this, which is pretty cool. Also, I think I just came up with like the most genius idea I've ever thought of. Could you imagine, right? If Bloxburg had a saving option, but for basic shapes. So see this table I made just then? What if we could save that and put it in our inventory and use it for later? Luxburg, I'm telling you, hire me on your developing team. People will love you, I'm telling you. Okay, I want the table very, very minimalistic. I don't want much furniture on here, except for like a little chandelier up the top. Now for the time we've all been waiting for, this very obnoxiously long hallway. What am I going to have in here? I have no clue. It's fine. You know what? We'll place some like windows in between so it's not very dark. Oh, you know what? We can also also have on this wall a fireplace. See, and I feel like that looks more welcoming than creepy hallway. Okay, what to fill in an eerie hallway? Okay, what about a uh, park bench? So we can have something to like look out the window. Oh, okay, I thought of something. I'm gonna copy these bookshelves from my bedroom. And then this section here can literally be a mini library. And uh, build hack, because we can't reach the top of this bookshelf cabinet, we'll have a ladder in front of it. And to finally close this hallway off, I'm gonna place a wall. And then look at that, no creepy ominous looking hallway in our G-shaped house. Thank you. Thank you very much. Now, once we reach the end of this hallway, we have this very intense curve. And we also have a room in here, which is gonna be the bathroom. And I already know the perfect idea that I want for the bathroom. And I mean, you know what? We do have gorgeous trees outside. So that of course means big obnoxious windows. Okay, I think we're gonna use that for the color palette in the bathroom. The only thing I hate about this bathroom, it's literally a like two by five room. So it's kind of awkward. Uh, we shall persevere. One thing I know for sure is that I want a uh, barrel bathtub at the end here. I'm just so excited for when I like get my own place one day because the first room I will be decorating is definitely going to be the bathroom. Like how nice does a cozy Japanese Zen bathroom look? Like, at the back here, some overgrown wall vines, mix of some tall waterfalls, and then you come up with something like that, which is mwah, beautiful. And again, because this room is so long, we're going to chop it up by adding some pillows. There's not too many because I actually still want you to be able to see the bathtub. And that's it for our bathtub, which means now we just need the toilet. And for safety reasons, that can go right next to the door. And then last but not least, the sink. You know what's so funny? When I started this uh, house, look how nice this bathroom's turning out. You would not think that this house is in the shape of a J right now. Oh, that's because it's in the shape of a J, you idiot. Okay, so that is our bathroom all complete. Again, we have another very obnoxious long hallway. I did not know what to do here. Okay, you know what? I've actually thought of the perfect idea. So in some Japanese houses, whenever
whenever they have like very long hallways, I'll do something like this. So it kind of looks like a balcony and it kind of just gives off like a very calming presence. So that is what we are going to do. So we can kind of have like two massive windows facing the garden. And you know what, at least this way, we can admire this gorgeous garden outside. And because it's a little bit dark, we might even use some like loomy lanterns. So it's nice and bright. And because it's a very zen hallway on the floor, we're gonna have some uh, more gloomy lanterns. So it's kind of like a footpath that leads into the next room if you think about it. You know what, I don't hate it. I think it looks kind of cool. <gasps> oh my God, guys, you're gonna laugh at me. You know what I forgot? A living room. This was meant to be my living room. <laughs> oh, that is kind of funny. You know what, no, we can still salvage this. This is gonna be our living room. Oh my God, that's why I had such empty space here. I was like, what do I add? Oh, that was meant to be the living room, you fool. Also, before I add the living room, we're going to need a laundry room. Now, unfortunately, I couldn't really fit a laundry room in the bathroom. But you know, that kind of turns out fine because that means we can have a sink here and it also just fills in that like random space I had in the middle. That was, yes, meant to be the living room. I get it. I can't believe I forgot the living room though. Like out of all the things I choose to forget, the living room, that's definitely a first on this channel. I'm kind of just adding like random towels throughout this living room. Throughout this laundry room. Oh my gosh. Guys, what? What is happening to me today? Okay, so I think that's the laundry room. I love how we got such a messy laundry room. And then it goes directly into like a nice zen hallway. Next up, we have the living room, which was meant to be here, but you know, I'm just a moron. Now, usually I would put my TV on top of my fireplace, but that's not gonna be the case here. The fireplace is just gonna be for decoration because the real magic is happening right here. I wanna use one of these big obnoxious entertainment centers. And luckily for us, it kind of fits perfectly on this curve here which means we can have the TV inside and then decorate this very minimalistically. Is that even a word? I don't know. I think I just made it a word. Okay, this is pretty awkward because I want to place chairs because, well, it's a living room. But as you can see, the shape of this G is making this very difficult for me. Well, I mean, the good thing is like Japanese style houses don't really have much furniture in the living room. So I guess one chair will do. We only need one. One little sofa and this for our coffee table. There we go. Look at that. The most gorgeous living room you've ever seen in your entire life. Thank you. Now, the last room we have to do in here is the gym. I really want a gym in here. So you know what? I'm actually gonna knock down this wall. This entire section is gonna be the gym. So like windows around every single section. Also, as in gym, I don't mean like hardcore alpha male weight gym. No, I mean nice, relaxing yoga gym. You know, that's what I mean. Help me. With like some little dumbbells here. Just in case we want to go for a little Pilates sesh. I tried Pilates once. Oh my god. I not never again. I was like puffed out, right? I'm pretty fit, you know? I'd say I'm pretty fit. Cap. A session of Pilates. Oh my gosh. There was like this 80-year-old woman next to me. She put me to shame. Okay, so that's our cute little Pilates gym. And then opposite of this, I'm not kidding. We are going to have a little tiny sauna. I will never get the hype of saunas though. Like why would you want to put yourself through hell and like sweat? Like absolutely not. But regardless, we're going to put a wall here to split this up from the gym. And then just like that, we have our G-shaped home all complete. All right, so the G-shaped house comes to a total of dry roll please a hundred and eighteen thousand dollars so let's have a look inside all right from the outside this looks disgusting we're not talking about the outside okay so when we walk in we're kind of like inside of the g we've got this gorgeous japanese style garden that leads directly into the entryway pretty simple but it does the job and then when we go to the right we kind of have our bedroom and honestly i'm obsessed with this bedroom i love how it's so aesthetic over here we've got like this beautiful looking bed and then boom an old rotten pizza box. Disgraceful. So when we keep going down this road, <laughs> did I just say this road? It's literally a house. When we go down here, this is the kitchen. I actually hate this kitchen. I hope it dies. Oh, okay. That was a little bit aggressive, but I don't care. Over here, we have the dining room, which is kind of cute. You know what? I love it. If my dining table looked like this with this view, oh, I would have dinner here all the time. So another obnoxiously long hallway that we have to walk down. At first, I didn't really know what to do with this hallway, but I think it actually turned out not too bad. We have a ladder here for like all of our books. We then have the laundry room and then right opposite of this, we have the bathroom. Honestly, is one of my favorite rooms in this house. I'm not gonna lie to you. Like this right here, oh, 
sexy like yes i just called my bathroom sexy what of it you would too if it looked like this okay we now have to make our way down another obnoxiously long hallway but i don't really care because we have this gorgeous view to look out of and then it leads directly into the living room which is pretty simple but it does the job and then if we go down here the last room we have is of course the sauna slash gym room now i've got to say this gym room is officially my favorite room in the entire house it's gorgeous i don't know what my avatar is doing right now i didn't even know she was capable oh okay are you farting i don't know but yeah this room has got to be my favorite i should have turned this into the bedroom but it kind of makes sense that it's the gym and i mean overall i think this g-shaped house is my favorite especially compared to the one i done like eight months ago see this house right here turning the letter a into a box work house eight months ago my building skills i think personally they have improved a lot since then but you know what hasn't improved my style because it's still the same so yeah i hope you guys enjoyed me turning the letter g into a house in Bloxburg, and i'll see you in the next one bye